Imagine driving on a bridge that is so long that you can't see the end of it. Imagine traveling at a speed of 350 km per hour on a train that runs on the world's longest bridge. This is not a fantasy, but a reality in China. Welcome to the Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge, the world's longest bridge in any category. Stretching over 164.8 km, this bridge is longer than the distance between New York and Philadelphia. It crosses the Yangtze River Delta, connecting the cities of Shanghai and Nanjing. It is part of the Beijing-Shanghai High-Speed Railway, one of the fastest and busiest rail lines in the world. But what led to the creation of this architectural marvel? How was it built? What challenges did it face? And what impact does it have on China and the world? Let's find out. China is a vast country with a population of over 1.4 billion people, accounting for about 18% of the world's total population. Its rapid economic growth and urban expansion in the past decades have created a huge demand for efficient transportation systems that could connect its major cities and regions. The Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge, part of the Beijing-Shanghai High-Speed Railway, was a solution to this need. The bridge connects two important cities in China's eastern coastal region, Danyang and Kunshan, and reduces the travel time between Beijing and Shanghai from 10 hours to 4 hours. The Beijing-Shanghai High-Speed Railway is one of the most ambitious and advanced railway projects in the world. It covers a total distance of 1,318 km and has a design speed of 350 km per hour. It serves more than 20 cities along its route and carries over 200 million passengers per year. The railway is expected to generate over $100 billion in economic benefits over its lifetime. The Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge is not only the longest bridge in the world, but also the longest viaduct in the world. A viaduct is a type of bridge that consists of multiple spans supported by pillars or piers. The Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge has over 2,000 spans and crosses several bodies of water, including the Yangtze River and Lake Taihu, as well as wetlands and rice paddies. The bridge runs roughly parallel to the Yangtze River, about 8 to 80 kilometers south of the river. It passes through the northern edges of population centers, from west to east, beginning in Danyang, Changzhou, Wuxi, Suzhou, and ending in Kunshan. The bridge was built by the China Road and Bridge Corporation CRBC, a subsidiary of China Communications Construction Company, which is a Chinese government-funded company that leads major civil engineering projects in China. The construction was completed in 2010 and the bridge opened in 2011. Employing 10,000 people, the project took four years and cost about $8.5 billion. Building the world's longest bridge was a monumental challenge that required advanced engineering and construction skills. But subscribing to our channel is easy and rewarding, so make sure you do for more insane mega projects. Let's continue. The bridge faced many challenges, such as Stabilizing the soft soil. The bridge is located in the Yangtze River Delta, where the land is mostly lowland rice paddies, canals, rivers, and lakes. The soil is soft and unstable, which poses a risk for the bridge's foundation. To overcome this challenge, the bridge used thousands of steel piles up to 100 meters deep to support its foundation. It also used prefabricated segments that reduced the concrete needed and the impact on the land. Ensuring safety and durability, the bridge had to withstand earthquakes, typhoons, floods, and other natural disasters that are common in the region. It also had to resist corrosion from salt water and pollution. To achieve this, the bridge had flexible joints and shock absorbers that allowed it to adapt to different forces and movements. It also had special coatings and materials that protected it from rust and erosion. Moreover, it had sensors and monitoring systems that detected any damage or malfunction and alerted the maintenance staff. Minimizing environmental impact, the bridge respected the ecology and biodiversity of the areas it crossed. It also avoided disrupting the water flow and quality, which are vital for the local agriculture and fisheries. To do this, the bridge reduced noise pollution and visual impact by blending in with the surroundings. It also used environmentally friendly technologies and practices, such as energy-saving lighting, water recycling, and waste management. The construction of the Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge was a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. The bridge was built in four years, from 2008 to 2012, by over 10,000 workers and engineers. The bridge consists of several sections, each with a different design and function. Some sections are elevated viaducts that allow traffic to pass underneath, while others are low-level bridges that allow boats to pass over. The bridge also has several tunnels that go underwater or through mountains. 
The most impressive section of the bridge is the one that crosses the Yangcheng Lake in Suzhou. This section is 9 kilometers long and has a clearance of 150 meters above the water. It is supported by 9,500 concrete piles and contains 450,000 tons of steel. This section is also the most challenging to build, as it had to deal with strong winds, waves, and currents. To overcome these difficulties, engineers had to use special techniques and equipment, such as floating cranes, windshields, and wave breakers. Another remarkable section of the bridge is the one that crosses the Yangtze River near Junjiang. This section is 8 kilometers long and has a span of 260 meters. It is one of the longest cable stay bridges in the world. It has two towers that are 157 meters high and have a shape of an inverted Y. The bridge can withstand earthquakes of up to magnitude 8 and has a lifespan of 100 years. The construction of the Danyang Kunchen Grand Bridge was completed in 2010 and the bridge opened in 2011. The bridge was inaugurated by Chinese President Hu Jintao on June 30, 2011, as part of the celebrations for the 90th anniversary of the founding of the Communist Party of China. The bridge is part of the Beijing-Shanghai High-Speed Railway, which connects China's two most important cities and reduces the travel time from 10 hours to 4 hours. The bridge has not only set a world record, but also improved China's economy and people's lives in many ways. In this video, I will tell you how the bridge has done that. The bridge has connected one of the most prosperous and dynamic areas in the country, where many industries and businesses operate and thrive. The region has a strong manufacturing sector, producing goods such as electronics, textiles, machinery, and automobiles. The region also has a vibrant service sector, offering services such as commerce, finance, education, and entertainment. The region contributes to China's economic growth and global competitiveness, as it exports and imports goods and services to and from other countries and regions. The bridge has also increased tourism and cultural exchange, as more people can see the attractions and history along the route. For example, the bridge passes near the ancient city of Suzhou, which is famous for its classical gardens, canals, and silk production. Suzhou is one of the oldest cities in China, with a history of over 2,500 years. Suzhou is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site, as it preserves the cultural and architectural heritage of China's past dynasties. The bridge has also reduced emissions and pollution, as more people can take the train instead of the car or plane. The train is more energy efficient and environmentally friendly than other modes of transportation, as it uses electricity instead of fossil fuels and emits less carbon dioxide and noise. The bridge is an amazing engineering feat that showcases China's innovation and development. Let us know in the comments if you want to visit this bridge and don't forget to subscribe if you want to explore the world.